Addressing the press before noon, just moments after landing in Israel, United States Secretary of State Pompeo and Prime Minister Netanyahu discussed plans to talk about the coronavirus, Iranian threats to the region, and of course, the United States' Middle East peace deal between Israel and the Palestinians. Now we're about to form uh, a national unity government uh, tomorrow. Uh, I, um, I think that this is an opportunity to uh, promote peace and security based on the understandings that I reached with uh, President Trump in my uh, last visit in Washington in January. Uh, and these are all tremendous challenges and opportunities. And we can do them because we have such a, uh, such a powerful bond. We'll get a chance to, to talk about the vision for peace. We're now some months on uh, from the day that you came to Washington when President Trump announced that vision for peace when you were there. Uh, there remains work yet to do, and we need to make progress on that. I'm looking forward to it. All that said, Pompeo has fallen short of giving any approvals of Israel's planned annexations within Judea and Samaria or the West Bank. And in the past, the Secretary of State has suggested that it's Israel's decision in the end, but that the government shouldn't rush into extending its sovereignty just yet. Meanwhile, Pompeo's visit in Israel will only last a few short hours before his return flight to Washington. And his and his entourage's itinerary will be strictly controlled. His meetings will include sit-downs with both Prime Minister Netanyahu and co-Prime Minister slash Defense Minister Benny Gantz. As for American officials, Pompeo and his team and the Israelis set to meet them have all been undergoing regular testing and checkups in the days leading up to this trip. And United States Ambassador David Friedman has backed out of the meetings at the last moment over reports of respiratory issues, though he is testing negative for COVID-19.